Aloha everybody, welcome back. Mahalo for watching. In today's video, I'm at Lava Tree State Park in Puna, Hawaii. It's free to enter this park, but before I get into the soup and nuts of this video, I need coffee. Ah, yes, cup of joe, cup of joe in the morning. Wow. Okay. Now I'm ready. Look at that. Right here in the park. Let's try it. This is a guavi that tastes like pineapple. Look at that spot right here. Oh man, this is good. This is so much better than the strawberry guavi. And it does have a pineapple flavor. It's amazing. Mmm. I'm gonna take a photo of me taking a photo of you. <laughs> Let's see if that'll work. One, two, three. I think it did it. <laughs> make make sure. Good. It's good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You guys have a good one. How a lava tree is made is quite simple, but complicated at the same time. Now, or I should say interesting. Now, this lava flow is from 1790, this area, right? So it's a pretty old lava flow and there's a lot of lava trees created in this area. That's why there's a park here. I don't know when the park was created, but I know this area is from a 1790s flow. Now what happens is lava comes down, there's a tree, right? And lava goes around the tree burns you know a lot of it sometimes the tree will fall and there's a hole that's created or a mold as well basically right the lava rock goes around the tree burns it it falls down it might not burn it completely and then what's ever left rots away and we've got these molds right here of lava rock it's it's insane right this is one of the coolest things about lava and trees and stuff and you know lava it just wipes everything out it just clears the land and creates new land all the vegetation and everything that was there is gone it just burnt and buried basically so this is kind of interesting how the lava goes around you know fills up the lava goes up and then uh, as it uh, you know moves away it sticks to these trees and creates this lava rock mold Science! Look what I found. A little gazebo in the middle of the jungle with lava rock steps. This is pretty cool. Let's go check it out. You'll pretty much have this park to yourself. There's hardly anyone down here. It's free to enter, like I was saying. You've got a barbecue pit with some gazebos. You can take the family on a picnic. It's a pretty nice park, you know, relaxing, mellow. It's less than two miles from Pahoa, so it's close to where I live. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I like it. 
you know, it's mellow, relaxing. It's cool. I dig it. You wouldn't want to fall in this crack. No death by selfie for me here. Look at that. That's a pretty big crack. It's deep too. Let's get you a better view. Yeah, that's pretty deep. And you got a nice barbecue pit and gazebo right there for picnics, family outings. Plenty of tea leaves. Look at all these tea leaves everywhere. These are tea leaves. T-I. They're all along this fence right here. It's a sacred plant to the ancient Hawaiians. Tea leaf. You can use this for a lot of different things. It's medicine. It's even food. You can even eat the root of these tea leaves. Homestead has recovered from the lava disaster of 2018. I want to thank you guys for all your well wishes and the support that I got from my viewers. You guys are awesome. Wow, look at this. This is pretty cool. The trail is less than a mile, so it's not that long of a trail, and there's pavement, you know, sidewalks through the trail, so it's really easy to hike on, real simple. The park is only 17 acres, so it's not that big of a park.